Rangers in three years, as have Rio Grande Valley, both in their third year in existence. Rio Grande Valley making the playoffs. In, in tricky conditions, so uh, nothing against the wind blowing a little bit here today. And I'm sure the players might not mind in some respects. Obviously, it does make the playing of the ball more difficult as Ontiveros giving the ball away. Belmar playing it out to touch. Hussein Juan Kamal, the 19-year-old, will receive the ball there. He's really been a class player with the ball at his feet. He tries to clip it on that right-hand side towards Tyler Blackwood. The backwards header is for Nico, 0.3% completion from the middle there and tried to threaten with the ball over the top towards Blackwood. Gonna send up the line there by Ontiveros. Going down there was Enriquez, but he's going to try and win the NASL's Jacksonville Armada with 23 appearances in all competitions a year ago. The RGV back four. Consisted of Omar Antiveros, who sprays it out wide to Manny Padilla. Grown player through the Sporting Kansas City system. Both these clubs affiliated with MLS sides. So we'll park with Sporting Kansas City and Rio Grande Valley with Houston Dynamo. Here's Enriquez again to charge. Wharton. And Zaldivar. Matias Zaldivar, Argentinian. Runs from Arsenal de Sarandi in Argentinian. Sent forward by Parker Marr towards the run of Haji Berry. By the corner flag and a run of the defender Donovan going to try and hit the cross early. Cut out well by Ontiveros. Throw is taken quickly. Berry for Minter, whose cross is sent in. And it was a dangerous one towards Tyler Blackwood, headed away. Heard on replay, but you can understand for, from the referee's vantage mm. point, heavy, sli heavy sliding challenge going through the ball be considered that way, but certainly on replay, that would not have... Rio Grande Valley certainly have the better of that so far as Nico Corti distributes. You're told by Jerson Echeverri that he's had a run in training with the Houston Dynamo side. Good example. For uh, Atletico Madrid's opening goal. Yep. As uh, you M see... Mandanda trying to play out from the back, and um, it wasn't Luis Gustavo, it was the other center half who, uh, who lost control of it. And Griezmann mud as the game moves on as we will keep you up today on the scores from around the grounds particularly in the western conference see there san antonio the team that drew nil nil with the rio grand valley and now rio grand valley can build out by the again and the retreating center back ontiveros here's wharton it's a regular team we've seen some others Start 30 and 35 players over the course of a campaign. Montiveros and Perea. And I see the, the play continued. And Zaldivad, I believe, shot it through the legs of the defender and into the side netting. Mm, I'm not quite sure why the referee would wave it off. If his linesman says it's a, it's a handball, it's a handball, unless he felt it was unintentional and therefore not a handball. So, interesting situation. A goal wasn't scored, so no controversy. Avia. Jersey number 93. See five players out on the pitch wearing a number 70 or higher. Is now Belmar's in the air. He's certainly dangerous. Belmar, and he hit the frame of the goal. Place he's playing as a bit of a lone striker there, and uh, big strong lad up front. Did so well to win it, and then lost possession. Besides, split the seasons two. Here is Aguilar. Number 10 just not having a ton of the ball. You see. Back to front, but not a ton in between for the number 10. Sitting long. <laughs> and uh, that's a great, great skill. And you can see why he is the top goal scorer in the league with that one opportunity he had, which he smashed against the crossbar. And it is interesting when he does get on the ball. Decent ball on the edge of the box. RGV, they're probing, but that final ball isn't of good enough quality to break down the Swo Park defense. Ontiveros. And Wharton. And now Connor Donovan. Yeah, particularly, you would imagine there weren't too many options trying to play the miraculous ball for Blackwood. Donovan. Back for Corti. The one positive you'd have to imagine for Jerson Echeverry after leaking goals. To start the season, three clean sheets and four. So even though they are just minter, cut out there by Padilla. 
in the area is Minter again, trying to leave it for Barry, but coming across well and reading it was Ontiveros. And he tries to send Aguilar in his way and said, not put it away after scoring two from the penalty spot earlier this year. As we are underway here in the second half, Rio Grande Valley, you'd have to say, will feel unlucky to not be one or two nil on top here entering this second half. Yep, they certainly will do. They had the better of the first half, as you say, a penalty. Very well saved. A couple of other opportunities where a better final ball would have seen a result. Um, and we said beforehand, you need goals. Yeah. Corti actually earning his spot in this team via a tryout at a combine for goalkeepers. And eventually won his place. Zenda Mendoza is having with him. Midfield three of one, Kuzain one, Kamal, Rodrigo Saravia and Chase Minter. Haji Berry leading the line in that front three along. Tally 4-2-3-1, 4-3-3. Generally look from them as well. It's a good ball between the lines. Blackwood trying to poke on towards Berry. Ontiveros going shoulder to shoulder to shield the ball. Kept in play there by Berry. Megs the defender on Tiveros, but cleared away in the end. Now counter Major League Soccer as a rookie. As the whistle does eventually go there. Aguilar and Enrique is doing well to win a fair amount of free kicks tonight for Rio Grande Valley. Padilla. And we'll play on. There is Warden who failed to convert the penalty in the first half. Decent flick on there from Quintanilla. And Enrique is actually going to whose whose whole job is goals. Yeah. You make that dazzling run. Six beating six players. If we're going to miss, <laughs> I'm going to be the one that misses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> forward to RGV some wonderful players Enriquez was really sharp first 20 minutes Quintanay has got some great skills Aguilar Zaldivar they're all wonderful it's just it's the final ball the final shot quite get a touch on it work for Rebellion to do he clears his lines but only as far as Omar Ontiveros in the second season with Rio Grande Valley Way throw into Rio Grande Valley a little bit scrappy at the moment both teams not really able to get their passes flowing and create their opportunities on the edge of the box. Maybe not sorting his feet out the best. 13th pick in MLS Super Draft. This Big East Keeper of the Year with Butler University. As Quintanilla now allows it to run. Omar going to poke it towards Barry in the area. Barry trying to find a window on the turn. Now Blackwood going to clip it in high towards Minter and dealt with by Ontiveros and eventually Adams. It'll look dangerous. Those who have received word from the ground will have a change come up here, but first nearly given away there by Aguilar. Still in here for Perea. Youngest player to ever sign an MLS contract at 15 years of age. Turned 16 in nine days. It won't be 15 very long. Next thing you know, feel like he's old. <laughs> there at this level. Maybe a bit too much adrenaline coming yes. off the bench, trying to make an <laughs> yeah. impact from the opening minute and puts a bit too much power behind it. Yeah. Cut out well by Rebellion. But Gary, you and I have talked about this in other contexts, but that for you is among the more important parts of American development. As the ball sent along towards Quintanilla. He's actually going to take it down. Trust Belmar now. Certainly carries that threat towards the byline. Bamboozling by the uh, peel back towards Barry. Trying to score on the back heel, and it nearly came off for him. Wonderful run by Belmar there. Great pace. The number 22, Jordan Jones, a second round pick in MLO Super Draft, or rather, third round pick to LAFC. But it's actually come in and made a decent impact into this Rio Grande Valley side. He'll come on for Aguilad when the change is ready. Here's just six substitute appearance in 10 Rio Grande Valley FC matches. Aguilar making way, certainly his highlight or low light of the match will be taking the shot off of Quintanilla. <laughs> Wharton. Perea with appeals for handball, not given. Able to turn away from the pressure. There's the oncoming Felipe Hernandez who flashes the pace and eventually a foul given there. And there is the next change for Rio Grande Valley. Another throw of the dice from Jerson Echeverri. Coming off there is Zaldivar. And it is... Montano the flying straight here in the United States, making his fourth appearance of the campaign. Starting twice. He'll slot in more as a winger. And he will come.
come in here on that right hand side. Here's Gianluca Busio. Always carries with him that threat. We saw it earlier. Just kind of a shot from nothing that oh. hit the frame of the goal. Great strike from a very difficult angle. And Quintanilla being the one who's most likely to watch the final three minutes plus at a time. He's looked sharp, Haji, Haji Berry. Just hasn't got much service, hasn't got much opportunity. It's knotted down there. Well, it's a decent result. I'm thinking, well, maybe not. Especially if you're RGV, you need the three points. You're the home side. Attack a little bit more. Take a few risks. Get a bit animated about it. But uh, it seems like both teams... Off. Yeah, he was fantastic first 20 minutes, Enrique's. Wonderful opportunities, great skill, good pace. But he seems to have uh, not been anywhere near that level in the second half. Then if he got a bit... The right back, Padilla, who will swing it in. Dealt with there by Didic. Still on though. There's Ontiveros, the center back, who made his way forward. More. Here is the danger man. Has multiple options. Will elect to try and clip it in towards Blackwood. Headed away. See the bunker there of orange shirts is some product, and it has done a huddle half chance. Just knocked over the crossbar there. Why not do this earlier? Why wait for the last 30 seconds? It's one of the best chances that, that RVG have had all match. There's another long ball. Nearly ends up with something. Yeah, and this will like.